What's going on? What's going on, everybody? Your boy, Mike D. You're in my cichlid hut, and these are some of my cichlids. Hope all is well with everybody out there. So let's jump right on into it. Before we do that, though, hit the like button. Subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. Please feel free to share the content to someone you think um, may like the content that I create over here at Cichlid Hut. But uh, y'all do me a favor, man, and hit that like button for me. It really, really helps the channel out. And subscribe if you haven't already. Um, I, 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 I think I do some good content over here on this channel. And um, I love to have you a part of Sickler Hut family. So let's jump right into it, guys. Um, this is a, a, little, a little update on the Carpenter Sickler, the, Ex the Escondidos. They're doing just fine. Look like they gearing up to try to spawn again. That's what it looked like to look like to me anyway. That's the big male right here. Well, my biggest, my, my biggest male. That's Hammer. In all of his glory. And that's the female. Haven't quite thought of a name for her yet. Uh, if y'all drop some names in the comment section and, you know, I'll check them out. Hey, I might pick one of the name of that. For real, because I've been struggling trying to find a name for her for some reason. I don't know why, but yeah, drop a name down there for that female. That's Candido right there. What y'all think about it? You know, on the other side over here, I got the motors there and that's just chilling. <laughs> I'm a little pair. They're growing. They're growing nicely. So 150, I got this divided. So these got about seven to five gallons right now. Um, eventually, I'm going to move these fish into a 180 here, but um, I mean, they've been in here for you know for a couple of months. The Escondido, they've been in here probably about a year now. Uh, I think when it was about four inches when I put them in, in this 150. Um, I'm not quite sure how big he is, but I mean, he's ever bit of eight inches, you know. So that big boy got a ways to grow. But yeah, they just over there showing courtship. This is off of a pair that I got. I mean, excuse me, off of some fry um, I received. And I grew them out. Um, just the pair I ended up keeping. Uh, had another pair that I uh, rehomed. But I, I can honestly say out of those 12 fish, I had at least four paired, paired of fish out of that group. And I only ended up with one, ain't that something? <laughs> but I do have some fry for these guys right now, probably about 20, 15 to 20. They're growing out, they're probably about two inches now. And I'm gonna grow some of them out for myself to keep. And just probably rehome the rest of them. But other than that, ain't too much really to talk about, man. I got the motor melting. Okay, he came out. You looking for something to eat? They always want to eat. The fish. They're always hungry, even when they're not hungry. I'll do a water change on this tank probably. I'll try to do it at least once a week, but sometimes I go a little bit further than that. Sometimes like 15, 12 to 15 days sometimes. Um, but I've actually done two back-to-back, -back, uh, one every week. So this one's coming up again, probably in about four days. I'm going to go ahead and just do another one, try to get back into my weekly water changing with these guys. Not saying I had any problem changing them just about every two weeks, but 
They have two hang on back filters, two sponge filters in here. So, I mean, they have plenty of filtration, but still, it's always, you know, you can, you know, once a week water change is ideal for these fish, you know, at least. I already fed them, so it should be good. Let's see if we can get that female a little bit. I'm trying to zoom in for y'all, but. There she go. See it a little bit better like that. The male, he back there messing around. But, yeah, that's the tank, man. It's a 150 gallon tank. Another 125 on that side. Got some stuff growing out in there. Some babies down in that little tank. It's a 29 gallon. But I'm gonna get off here, man. Um, I give these guys, I feed these guys. Um, sometimes I feed them every day, but a lot of times I skip a day or two. Like I, these fish probably eat about five times a week on average. You know, I, I miss at least two days a week, and I think it's it's, it's great for these carpenter cichlids because I lost a lot of these fish, man, off that batch that I had. Probably would've got more pairs than four. But uh, I think I bloated the fish myself. I was feeding them just so much food, man. And I, I think I think I, 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 I basically killed some of them, you know? So that one thing I learned that makes me very nervous about uh, these fish, not to overfeed them. You know, finally got the rest of them to start passing um, waste and they kind of shook back. But like I said, I lost like five or six of them, man, to over do the overfeeding. It happened about a year ago. So let that be a lesson. Do not overfeed your fish, man, by any means. It's all right for them to miss a day or two. In my opinion, it's great for their digestive system. I think it's excellent for the digestive system to give it time to clear itself out and replenish itself and stuff like that. You know, these carpenters, they love algae wafers. I mean, they eat the crap out of those things, you know? Sometimes I don't feed them for like a day or two, then I feed them algae wafers. They're already hungry. And I feed them that, that greenery, man. They, their waist looks, it looks like this nice brownish color, real thick. You know, it's just, it just it's good for the digestive system. You know, not this these fish. I just think all I do all my fish like that. Even the motors, they eat, uh, they eat the algae wafers too. Even much the big tribe, man. If you don't feed them enough and they get hungry enough, they'll eat. And sometimes you have to starve your fish like that to get them to eat something that's beneficial for them and also for you because it's going to help keep the fish healthy. And she's just cutting up down there. Look at her. Yeah, they're going to be laying pretty soon. It's been a while, man. She hasn't laid eggs in about three, four, about four months. So, you know, it'd be nice to see a spawn out of them. I don't have the temperature on the tank real high neither, so that might be another reason why. But anyway, I'm gonna get on out of here, man. I'm just talking now. Uh, your boy Mike D in my Sigler Hut. These are some of my Siglers. Check me out on Facebook at Sigler Hut. Subscribe to the YouTube channel at Sigler Hut. And I'll catch y'all on the next video, which y'all know will be coming real soon. Let's keep the hobby strong, y'all. Let's keep it strong. We need this hobby out here, man. For our kids and grandkids, that's, so it can still be around, you know. So I just try to do my best and do right by the hobby because I love it and all its glory, you know. Just look at look at look at those. I just can't even stop talking about them. My best boy to cut the camera off, but, but just look at it. look at the blues in those fish, man. And, I, and and I'm not just dragging my fish. I'm just saying like this is the stuff that nature makes, man. It's, you know, you got to make sure this stuff stays around the right way. All right, I'm going out for real. Peace.